The general overseer of Palace of Priests Assembly, Pastor Utive Ibuzo, has urged Christians in government to be guided by the Christian teaching of holiness, faithfulness, worship, humanitarian spirit, liberality, self-discipline, defense of the poor and oppressed in carrying out their official engagement. The cleric handed down the advice at an event in Abuja titled The Platform on Transparency and Accountability for Christians in Government with the theme Beyond Corruption, Pentecostal Unity for Social Justice Advancement. The corruption itself, the majority of uh, grand scale corruption happens in government. So we believe that there are Christian ethics and so the Christians in government should be the light that should shine. That's why we're having this. In different offices, they continue to maintain integrity because this is what the project stands for. They continue to maintain and promote integrity in their various uh, organizations. The Sean Corruption Project is being implemented by the social arm of the church, the Priest Peace and Justice Initiative, PPJ, supported by John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. I'd like to challenge us in our lives, in church, in our offices, in our families, in the societies that we belong to, to continue to think about what we're learning today. And that is the fact that it is possible to be a good soul in God. The one-day platform on transparency and accountability was attended by stakeholders in the fight against corruption, including a senior special assistant to President Bola Tinubu on community engagement, North Central, Abiodu Esiet, who spoke on the Sean Corruption Project. It's a way to encourage the Christians who are in public administration to remember the rules and the mandates of us as Christians while we're serving in different public offices. Program bringing about awareness, sensitization and enlightenment, particularly for us as Christians, who is supposed to be the light, uh, the light and the salt of the world, is uh, very commendable. One of the key objectives of the event, according to the organizers, is for government to sanction corrupt officials and for religious leaders to shun, speak up and stand up against corruption. Basil Okafo, Core TV News, Abuja.